<laughs> this is Johnny and Latasha, and we travel all the time. Permanent vacation, I guess uh -oh. the best way to describe <laughs> it. Anyway, we enjoy finding private beaches like this one in Guam. And I hope you follow us. I hope you like this very much. Again, this is Johnny and Natasha in Guam. This is our car, and in Guam, flowers everywhere, uh, kind of like Florida, flowers. So many we have no clue what the names are, and it's just a place to explore. And this little section of the island, which is in the northern, uh, the northwestern part of the uh, island, you have places to park, and basically your own private a uh, place to go enjoy the water so you will like this a lot uh, that's Natasha in the water now and uh, she's snorkeling and there's so much you can see under the water uh, she's basically having a blast out there the gun beach is better for snorkeling than this one this probably is good beach just to be on the beach but Gun Beach is better for snorkeling. It has more beautiful, colorful corals and fish. But this is interesting too.
water up there? No. Is it sandy or cool? Um, combination of stones and corals. More stones than corals. It's not, not as sharp. It's not as sharp as it was on the Gun Beach. Did you see any fish? Yeah, a lot of fish. What kind of fish did you see? Uh, unfortunately, I don't know the names, but the most colorful I saw is that uh, four angles fish that looks like very sharp angles with yellow, white, and black stripes. <laughs> I, I need to Google the name of the fish, but very often when people have their own aquariums, they have those fishes there. It's kind of aquarium in the wild. Mm -hmm. Tell us where we are exactly now. Oh, we are, uh, it is called Retidian Refuge. Uh, belongs to United States National Parks. So this refuge where they try to save their native Guam plants, nature, beaches, so they don't allow here any fire, they don't allow here any stupid activities, so they're trying to preserve uh, their nature here. And this particular beach, it is called Retidian Beach. A lot of people love to come here for weekends, because it's really very beautiful, white sands, nice snorkeling, maybe diving for someone who likes it. But uh, I have experience already of snorkeling here in Guam and I said that I love Gun Beach better for snorkeling than this one. You say it's crowded. Where are the people? It's not Friday, it's Thursday. It's Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say Friday. I said that people come here on weekend. On the weekend. So on during the week there is a private beach. Yeah, it is packed. But during the week, it's a private beach. Kind of. Still, there are several people here and there. But I think we can uh, go a little further to see what kind of rock is in front of okay, us. It's very hot. Huh? It's very hot. It is hot. But if you swim a little, Jenny, just for a little while. Uh, I, will, I will keep them. I guess I'm still good. Okay, it turns out that we came to the point where the sand color is kind of pink. So it looks very beautiful, nice. Looks like it is nature for here. And Did you say pink or more like copper? Well, for me it is more like pink. Okay. <laughs> so we have a pink copper beach and one.
Dankeschön. Exploring Guam. There's caves everywhere, right next to the ocean. Uh, the sand is beautiful. It's kind of a uh, almost color. And I said there's caves everywhere. Now, again, I want to show you the other side of this thing here. This is picture perfect. And so, they 